So our mind is really vast, like the open, clear sky. Our mind have never been trapped into, you know, a brain or a body or, you know, these ideas we have about our mind. So right now you can stop thinking just for a brief moment and, and you can introduce yourself directly to that vast, clear mind. If you test that right now, you see that what remains is you as you truly are. It's just this clear alertness. Just your ability to perceive reality just as it is, with no description needed, nothing added to it, just the real, raw, vibrant reality as it is. No escape, no fantasies, just reality as it is. So just like a mirror, just reflects anything in it effortlessly, and are not changing it, just reflecting it as it is, that's your original, purest form as a human being. That ability to simply reflect all your thoughts, all your emotions, all your experiences, just as they are. There we get real. You know, you never see the mirror trying to change an angry face reflected in, in it to a happy face. If I say it, it doesn't make sense, you know, it wouldn't be possible, it wouldn't even be something we would think of. But that's what we try to do to ourselves all the time. At least that was how I lived my life until I met this training. It was an endless, endless game and, and running all the time to try to change the reality of my experiences, of my relationships, of my circumstances, places, things, everything. And in this training we reduce all of these descriptions. Thoughts, emotions, things, places, memories, ideas about reality, anything, dreams. We just reduce it to data, we call it data, data streaming. That's all there is. In any given moment, for any human being, there is always information, data streaming. Mental, physical, emotional. It's always something there. But now we are introduced in this training to that one simple choice. What would we like to do with all of this streaming? You know, that's the most powerful choice you can ever give yourself and humanity all together. Because if you make that choice of just ch testing for a brief moment to just let it be as it is, just let it flow and see that you are safe. If you don't think that's safe to do so, then test it. And there are so many people here, including myself, that have tested this even with the wildest thoughts and emotions the most afflictive things you can ever think of. And it's still safe to just let it be as it is. That's, it seems so simple. But I've seen that I have needed total support to allow myself to test that in all experiences. In all experiences. So we give you one sing single instruction to test it, and that's short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes continuous. So open intelligence is that alertness, that clarity. When you relax for a moment, you stop thinking for a moment, that's it. That's your mind. Open, vast. It is an open intelligence. You tap into that repeatedly. You are so lucky to hear this instruction. Oh, so touched by it, you know, because I know what only that instruction alone has done to my life, it completely empowered my life. As we so heard in the video, it's like changing glasses. Because now I'm fine with reality as it is, I know that there always was just this one great reality. <laughs> 
there were never ever anything needed for me to change that, to avoid it, replace it, indulge it, making dramas. So that's such a relief, that's complete relaxation right there being safe within all experiences. That's when you see what you are as a human being. Nothing else can show you that. No one else can show it to you. You see it for yourself in that short moment. That's when you see that whatever you are feeling and thinking right now, whatever datum, has exactly the same nature. Whether it's an afflictive thought or a very joyful thought. That completely doesn't matter. It's the same natural mechanism taking place. A datum is coming into your perception right now. You can't stop it. It's just natural that something is coming into your mind right now. Mental, emotional, physical. You don't know what it is. It's coming. It's staying there for a while. And it's disappearing. When it's gone, it's gone. Like line drawn in water. No trace. If you think there is traces, it's your imagination. I imagined so many traces being left in me. Dramas, traumas, <laughs> ideas, memories, you know, all of that. It's kind of left somewhere, but really, <laughs> where? <laughs> it was ideas. And to try to manipulate this natural flow, to put your thoughts and emotions into that spe special perfect order or boxes or whatever it is in your fantasy, in reality, you're just using your energy to move space around. It's like making a puzzle out of the blue sky. It's not possible. It's a waste of energy. Instead now, when we relax and trust this natural flow, we come to see we are so powerful as human beings and we are only intended and purposed for benefit. That's when we see that all that we experience is inseparable from open intelligence. It is you as open intelligence, you as being naturally perfect just as you are in this moment. Just expressing yourself naturally, the dynamic energy of who you are. Just like the breeze and the, and the air. You know, what's the breeze and the air? You could never say what, what is what. It's, the breeze is the dynamic expression of the air. Your thoughts and emotions are your beautiful, natural, dynamic expression of your natural beauty. And then we can enjoy life. And it becomes very simple, not as an idea and a philosophy, but in real reality, in practical, everyday life. So that's what we train up here together. And uh, in Balanced View, we offer really an education for this to be your instinctive experience of yourself. Every human being wants that. That's just so obvious. We all just want to be comfortable with who we are. As simple and as powerful as that. That's what we dream of all the time. If we think we need a boyfriend or a girlfriend to feel that comfortability or money or you know, a nice home or whatever, but, you know, the bottom line, the motivation and the dream and the desire is to feel comfortable in our life. But we can only find it through our own experience. So you're all very, very fortunate and lucky to be here and being open to an education that really shows you what's possible instinctively. So we call this education the Four Mainstays which is an algorithm, it's a code that clicks you open to that instinctive, beautiful reality. All four of them together is that code. So the first mainstay is those short moments. Then we have a trainer, a friend that have gone before us, that knows that it's safe everywhere. <laughs> There isn't anywhere to hide, everything is fine, all is well. Just being reflected at all the time. You write to the trainer and you want him or her to buy into your stories, your victimhood, and that will never happen. You maybe want it for a while because it feels very unusual not to be a victim. So it takes time to settle in and get used to it. That's why one of the mainstays there is the community, where we just get used to that this is fine. <laughs> 
it's fine not to be a victim to over data. To me, it's completely new. I even hated to call my things data. It felt so like, wow, you know, I want to describe it. <laughs> so just to have friends from all over the world where it's safe to get used to this reality as it always have been and will always be. And then we have the fourth mainstay, which is the training itself. We have so many talks, texts, so many things that only, only shows you that you are open intelligence. You have never been trapped into a mind that always wants to describe and wants to be victim of everyone and everything. <laughs>